Hello everyone, Trancher Dan here, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, very quickly before I begin this video, remember if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, and don't forget to like, leave a comment, it does really help me out. And if you are able to do so and you would like to support me, you can find links to my PayPal and my uh, Patreon if you'd like to support me and donate to help me and my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit of a mismatch of things going on, but hopefully you will enjoy it nevertheless. Now, uh, of course, this video will be going up on Saturday the 18th of May. Uh, today is it's Wednesday before whatever date that is, 15th, I think. Uh, I'm going to double check because, uh, yes, 15th of May. And so... This will go up on the 18th of May, which of course is the night before the BTS. So if you're watching this and you have not made any plans to attend the uh, BTS show this year, then please click on uh, the link in the description or wait for the annotation at the end of the video. Click on that. It will give you all the information about the show, where it is and all that kind of thing. And um, then you come along on Sunday, which is the 19th of May. If you're into uh, sort of spiders and tarantulas, you should really, really come along. So this is the last and final call for the BTS. Also, whilst I'm talking about the BTS, I'm actually going to be taking one of my own tarantulas there this year. A bit like a, um, what's the word? Like they have like a tarantula cruft there, you know, where uh, different people submit their favourites, say scorpions or tarantulas, you know, their inverts, and into different categories, and then they, um, you know, you win prizes if you win of course and i'm actually going to be taking one of my females uh, if you have me on instagram then you will have seen the post about which two it's between it's either my adult female poglotheria regalis who recently molted and also my um becoming a child of species sabar blue adult female which is she's amazing looking and i can't decide on which one so i put a post up on instagram to say to people uh hashtag regalis, regalis or hashtag Solo Blue, and I'll bring one of those with me. And of course, I've just had a comment uh, from Predator or Prey Online. Uh, you can find him on his YouTube channel. Really, really good fellow. And uh, he has basically told me that he's entering something as well. So if you go there and you walk along the BTS tables and you see all of these spiders, feel free to take a look at my spiders um, and obviously Gar Spider. I don't believe that they're labelled. Um, but if there's either a massive Pyrogallis or a big Sarbar Blue female, they're my spiders. So you can actually have a look at them um, in person. But yeah, you know, don't pick it up and like shake it around. That will make me sad and it will make the spider sad. So don't do that. But definitely go and have a look at whichever female I enter. I was going to enter the Celadonia this year, but she's still not fully grown. And to be honest, I'd rather not sort of take her to places like that. So um, yeah, one of my two females. So uh, definitely check that out. And of course, on about the BTS, I have quite a few videos planned for this weekend. Um, there's a small channel on YouTube. He's, he's, he's kind of known. He's an all right guy. Uh, someone called Petco. Um, he's actually coming here tomorrow, uh, picking him up from the train station. And he's staying at uh, mine for a couple of nights. And we have a few videos planned, actually. Um, like in the book, like we're doing this, 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 this. And... So you should definitely sort of obviously check out my channel and my videos I'll be making with him. But also make sure you go and subscribe to Petco at the Dark Den. Link will be in the description. Check him out if you don't know who he is already. And uh, obviously, hopefully you'll enjoy his uh, his footage. His BTS video, in fact, his BTS video is, is amazing from last year. So I'll put an annotation in this corner to his BTS video. Go and click on that video, watch it, see what the BTS is about, subscribe to him if you aren't already, and uh, let him know where you came from. So, uh, but yes, collaborations are going to be filmed this uh, week with Petco, as well as Stefan Higgs and Dan from Dan's Wildlife. Two good friends, you should definitely check those out as well. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the stuff we've got planned for, for this week. It's going to be gonna be a great weekend, like this Petco, Dan, Steph, the Spy Shop guys, the BTS committee and, and those people. And then all the other people that are going to shows will be amazing. Another thing as well, as far as collaborating goes, I guess, um, I actually have a really cool new addition to my collection. It's not in this room at the moment, and I probably won't keep it in here. It'll probably be kept up in my bedroom on my desk area. But uh, I won't tell you what it is. I did put a picture on my Instagram. So if you'd like to go and have a look and have a guess at what it could be. Because um, I don't label it and you can't see it full. It's a very close up of whatever it is. 
Um, people have been guessing, no one has got it right yet. Um, but yes, I do have a really cool new edition. I was going to do a video to sort of show you this particular um, edition today. However, I figured I'll wait for Peko to come. And then when Peko comes, I'll be like, oh yeah, I've got something that no one has seen on my channel yet. You should come and uh, have a look at this really cool thing. So uh, Peko will be in the reveal of this new uh, this new animal. So uh, I'm not gonna say what it is, but it is something completely different to anything that I've ever had on this channel. So that's something to look forward to. Probably be up next week at some point, hopefully. And as for how I came across this animal, in a nutshell, um, I went to the West Midlands Herpetological Society. I did the um, I went there to see the talk on Poglotheria by Andrew Smith. And whilst there, I got talking to two subscribers, uh, the very wonderful Gemma and Gemma. Uh, Gemma with a G, Gemma with a J. And I'm pointing, you can't see them more in the lab, but yeah, Gemma with a G and Gemma with a J. I got talking to these two women, really, really lovely. And um, the sort of like messaging and things like that, very, you know, really friendly. So what happened was uh, that they came to my house and they brought with them this new addition. Now, the animal was not mistreated. It was actually looked after really, really well. The enclosure is fantastic for it. Uh, the only thing lacking, sadly, was the time that the animal needed. And so they contacted me and asked me if I would take it off their hands, which of course I did. And so um, I have it now and I will be showing you that very, very soon. So in this video, I wanted to sort of thank Gemma and Gemma for bringing that to me. And uh, hopefully you'll look forward to that. Uh, the video will be, like I said, we filmed on the weekend when Pet goes here and will be up next week. So that's uh, something that you should definitely look forward to, I think. Uh, one more very quick thing in regards to videos before I unpack three packages that I've had. Uh, the last video that I did, which was the... You good, Yuna? She just kind of had like a hiccup, I think. Um, the invert, Northern Invert Show video that I did with the additions, I had some problems with the footage and many of you have pointed out to me and plenty of dislikes, which is fair enough. And people are saying, where's the close-ups of the animals? Now I do have the close-ups of the animals. However, the problem that I'm having at the moment is I'm not able to overlay videos, shall we say. Now this was never been a problem, however, um, I can put pictures up but not videos because if I overlay videos on my laptop and uh, PowerDirector 16 which is what I use, uh, the laptop either locks up entirely or I get a blue screen and then after sort of turning it off and on, on a back a few times to get it going again, so I'm like just black screens. Um, and then I get this message that says that there's no hard drive installed and that has been happening quite a lot recently and it was only when overlaying videos and that is why basically I wasn't able to have the close-ups on screen because every time I tried to overlay it uh, it would just lock up the whole laptop and then okay, it's like you know hard reset and then um, blue screen and black screen so I won't be doing any overlays at the moment I'm restoring my laptop back, uh, reinstalling everything, and then uh, I will do the video with the close-ups. So, if you watched that video, I am really, really sorry that that footage wasn't there. But that was, it was either that or I just didn't upload the video, which was a real shame. So, uh, so yeah, that is why there was no no overlay because my laptop just didn't like it for some reason. So, uh, with that said, I now have three. Um, packages to unpack. Now one of them I've already unpacked, two I haven't. I know what they all are now of course. I'm going to start I think with something that is beneficial shall we say to those of us that love nature and that is this package. Um, my address is on it. I should really take that off because uh, I don't want everyone to know where I live of course. Uh, so yeah. there you go. So guys package and this is from a company called Bee Bombs. Bring the bees back if you are a lover of nature, wildlife, um, insects and invertebrates and things. You, most people will know about the declining population of bees and how they're like been added onto the endangered list and things like that. And so what I figured I would do is, which I will do this in a future video, but uh, just, to, just to sort of show you this now. Um, if you go on to uh, just Google Bee Bombs, um, basically they are these, there's actually a leaf in here, there you go, 
there's a, you can, there's a hashtag, uh, bring the bees back, which I'll put down on screen. And um, the bee bombs will return 21 squared feet of uh, wildflower habitat to Britain has lost in World War II. And so basically inside these, there are 18 species of wildflower flowers native to Britain. And they are confirmed by the RHS as perfect for pollinators. So basically, um, you can buy these for a few pounds. They come, the packaging is all um, biodegradable. There's no tape or anything like that. Even, look at this, this is, this is really nice. The actual bee bombs bag. Uh, obviously I, I can't get a close up of it, um, like an overlay, so I'm gonna try and do it this way. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if, whether you can, if you can read that. It might be backwards, I don't know. But it says uh, native uh, wildflower seed balls. Handmade in Dorset, www.bbombs.com. And so inside this, if you just open, if I just open it up, I wouldn't say if you open it up, but you can't because you're the other side of the screen. And by the time you're watching it, I've already done it. So inside these really cool little clay pellets, and inside this clay, there are like dirt and seeds. Walk along, uh, find the little hole, pop one in, cover it over, put some water on it. And then these will grow all of these flowers that are perfect food for uh, pollinators. And I think a bag of this is about a fiver, something like that, give or take. You're probably looking at £10 uh, posted. And inside, I mean, there's, I'm dropping them everywhere. There's loads of these, probably 10, 20 or so of these bee bombs. Um, all different sizes. So, um... So yeah, really, really good little um, item. And while we're gonna be doing this, where I live, there's some um, like woods and things around the back and some fields. And I'm gonna just go for a walk, take this with me, quick hole, pop one in and uh, water it and leave it to grow. And this weekend, I am gonna be doing a nature video with Petco. So uh, of course I'll take in this with me and uh, we'll sort of you know, be planting some of these. I'll get Petco to plant some, Stefan and Dan. And then maybe like next year, when Petco comes over again for BTS, hopefully uh, we can visit the same place and see how these have, um, see how they've grown, and hopefully it'll be good for the uh, for the the pollinators in that area. So yeah, bee bombs, really really good little product. Uh, I don't benefit from it, but it's good for the wildlife. So I would really recommend. Yeah, if you've got a few quid to spare, uh, click on the link in the description. I'm not paid. It's not a paid promotion, but uh, click on the link to bee bombs. Uh, get some. Go for a walk with your family and uh, scatter some seeds and help the wallow. So next up I have another um, little package. Of course I've taken my address off. For the same reason as the other one, I don't want anyone to know where I live of course, because I just don't think everyone should know where I live, <laughs> basically. Um, so I'm gonna open this up. I already know what this is, and this is not actually for this room. This will be for upstairs in my, my room. But basically, um, on this, as you go up the staircase into my room, there's a big wall, uh, which is completely um, bare, apart from a bit of paint. So my plan is to have these on display. And these were from uh, So Many Legs. So um, I've never actually bought tarantulas from So Many Legs, but I do know that a lot of people have done um, in the past, and they all rate the service so uh, I might I think so many legs will be the BTS so I might try and pick something up um, from them there but uh, yeah unfortunately I'm not able to get into this there we go ah I ripped it there's a sticker across the uh, the back there and I've just tried to take it off and I've just tore the uh, the poster okay there we go so posters Tarantula posters, so uh, dwarf tarantulas. Let me do it this way so you can see it. So we got uh, dwarf tarantulas, colorful tarantulas, of course, the uh, Michelaria, uh, Brachypelma, which is wonderful. No Brachypelma um, eruptive, which is a shame. Look at this one Asian tarantulas. We've got some uh, Cerea paracopus, Celebrachis. So, uh, yeah, there's quite a few Lampropelma, Violospes, I like those. Pionata. I uh, actually agree to be fair, as far as pokers go, the Onata is actually my favourite. Uh, I prefer the Onata over Regalis and Metallica any day. 
Right, for next, next up we have popular tarantulas. Let's have a look at these. See how many of these you've got in your collection, everyone. So, Canscoe genicolata, uh, Brachypalma bopalosum, uh, Phobus marinus, Gramostola rosea, Hedoscoda maculata, Lassidora, Lassidora, Pamphobetus, Pyrogallis, Samopos, Cambridgei, Twentinitis marinus, and Xenthis imanis. There's some very popular ones there. Not all of them are for beginners, but uh, definitely, definitely nice. Some nice uh, Formictopus ones. So, uh, yeah, really, really nice looking spiders. I don't think I actually do have any. I don't think I actually have any Formictopus. Um, I did have the Formictopus uh, Cancerides, Cancerides, should I say, but um, don't have actually only currently. This is where it's caught on the back of this sticker. It's only ripped it a little bit. Ah, see there? It has ripped it, which is a bit of a shame. Never mind. And finally, and here of course we have the Gramostola. Now, uh, a lot of people really recommend these for beginners. Personally, I don't. Um, out of all of them, I would say, of course, the G Pulchra and the Pulchra Peas are the best ones for beginners, at least from personal experience. So, um, but yeah, I mean, there's some really, really nice spiders. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. One, two, three, yeah. So I've got six posters, which I'll be putting up in um, up in my room on the back wall, on the floor at the moment. Um, but these posters are a pound each. So I bought them a while ago. I actually thought that, that maybe they hadn't been sent, but um, but no, they, they obviously they have came, uh, which is good. So uh, yeah, a pound each, which is, I think, an absolute bargain for some posters. So if you've got yourself an animal room, then you could sort of put them around. Petco has some, um, of course, in, in the dark den. Uh, these won't be on display in my walls because my walls are all covered up, which is a bit of a shame. But, um, you know, it's still nice if you get a chance to get these posters. Then you go and check out so many legs and look at their posters and maybe their tarantulas or the merchandise that they have. Um, yeah, you might get some good stuff. So the last and final thing that I have to show you, which um, hopefully you will um, think is quite funny, but there is a bit of a story to it. I'm going to try and keep it short. Basically, um, I am taking part in, I guess, quite a big project. And I needed to speak to uh, Lee for a favour. So I call Lee up. And yeah, well, Lee, I've got a favour for you. So yeah, yeah, great, that's fine. I can, I can help you with that. So I'm like, great, the cheers. And uh, so, oh, while on the phone, I've got an idea for something. Do you want to do a prod uh, product review? So I'm like, yeah, of course. You know, I'm more than happy to do product reviews for companies and things. And you know, me and Lee have got a good like f working, but also sort of friend relationship. I class him as a good friend. Um, so I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know, what's what do you want me to review? And so he tells me, and I'm sort of like, you're joking, right? And Lee, I can just picture his face like cool as a cucumber, just like, when do I joke? So I'm sort of like, oh, okay, well, yeah, okay, if you want me to review it, just send, you know, you've got my address, send me whatever, and, uh, and I'll review it. That's nice and simple. So, um, yeah, I sort of like joked about it, I told other people, like, oh, look, you know, never, this conversation that I had with Lee. And then uh, I got back from work one of the nights last week, and I had this through my door. Now, in the past, if I had a delivery and it had this logo on, it was all, it always filled me with like excitement, like, oh, there's something in the box. And when I saw this, this envelope with this on, I thought, oh, I won't say it. But lots of swear words, yeah? Um, I'm like, oh, no way. So I, I put up some pictures up on Instagram, um, not showing what's inside originally, just sort of like the back of this. Um, to try and get people talking, guessing what it was, and people were like, that's amazing. Because obviously I did eventually sort of show them what it is. If you have me on Instagram, you will already know this. And this is why you should follow me on Instagram, because I put things on there before they reach YouTube, usually. So, yeah, so I had this. I wasn't going to open it. However, um, talking to um, a lady friend of mine, a uh, really, really nice girl, and I told her about his package, and she, but I didn't know what it was. I sort of had an idea, but... Wasn't 100% sure. I told her about it and she was sort of like, uh, I can't remember how the conversation went, but I ended up sort of videoing myself in WhatsApp, um, like sending that video to her so she could see what it was as I opened it. 
And so when I opened this, she thought it was hilarious, and my friends and family all thought that it was absolutely hilarious. And so what is in, you can probably hear it if you can't already see it, well, what was inside that, um, that envelope are Spider Shop branded condoms. Um, these, you know, these are all real. They are all capable of serving their purpose. And so, um, I don't know if I can, if you can get a clear shot of the front. Um, but you got the logo, and then underneath there's like this like little red text, and they have uh, a amusing uh, lines. This one says, uh, "Wrap your millipede." Uh, palp protection. Spiderlings, not children. Kids equals less money for spiders. And the last one, stop premature deforestation. So five free spider shop branded condoms, each of them with their own little um, fun little um, what's the word joke word I guess. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a real condom. It's got all the safety stuff on the back for it and the company. Um, so yeah, really, really good. I put some things out on Instagram and I was sort of like, how am I meant to review these? Like for start, I mean, it's sort of like, I'm like joking, I'm joking about it, but joking aside, like being serious as well. But like, I don't have a girlfriend. I am single, of course. So that's obviously the first hurdle. But let's just say if I did have a girlfriend, I'm like, oh yeah, I've had this only, need to do a video, you know, obviously that is not going to happen. Um, so I, I, I was sort of thinking like, do I do like fun things with them? But then I think that seems like a waste, but you know, I, I'm sort of in a bit of a, I'm not sure what to do with them as far as, you know, reviewing them. Um, I kind of want to keep them sealed um, just for sort of fun, but I might, um, I don't know, I, I don't know what to do with them. Like he asked me to review them, and I don't, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. So thank you to Lee and of course the guys at the Spider Shop for um, for these condoms. For these, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to use them, but uh, they are really, really awesome. I might just, I don't know. If you uh, have any ideas, post below in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I should do with these whether you think I should keep them uh, just as like a memento or if you can think of something fun I don't know I, I I don't know I'm digging myself a hole any suggestions post below in the comments and so that is the end of this video um, I hope you've enjoyed it I hope I've explained everything and there's been enough going on to sort of keep you guys interested without sort of rambling too much uh, of course like I said don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment let me know what you think if you'd like to support me I do have a patreon and a paypal don't forget to check out the annotations up here at the end of the video and of course hopefully I will see some of you at the BTS on the 19th of May at the Warwickshire event center uh, it's gonna be a really really good day and of course I hope you'll enjoy the future videos so that's it everyone thank you for watching take care enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon in the next video bye for me everyone take care